What's up guys? I'm pretty excited for today. My pink chihuahua is totally into my coffee. Uh, this is a special occasion. This marks the last day I get to complain about cold. Today, we're back on the Jeep, not the Civic. I like the Jeep more. So, fasten your little safety harnesses. We're gonna do an unboxing in the car, and then I guess we're taking everything inside. All right, guys, we're going full fisheye effect for this clip. There's a very strange person in my neighborhood who loves to talk to me for six hours on end. Like, no joke, six hours. I wish I was making it up, but I'm not. So now we're hiding a block away out front of some lovely neighbor's houses to do an unboxing. Because so I am trapped, and if he sees me, he will run up to me and talk to me forever. I don't know if she's smelling the coffee or this. So anyway, oh, put that back in your mouth, please. No, this is my poor chihuahua. That's tongue <laughs> sticks out of her mouth. We don't we don't have to talk about it. Just she'll do her thing, go away. Exciting part today. Ooh, I got me some heated seat elements for the Jeep. This old girl's gonna get heated seat. You gotta knock that off, dog. You're the cutest little thing, but you just you're you're weird to look at sometimes for for new people. Right, this badass kit comes with your entire wiring harness, relays, fuses, and all. You just have two connections. You need a you're loving this. It's got two connections. We got wire in. Super easy. Super straightforward. It's got switches somewhere in here. We ran these same kits in uh, the other two XJs we had. My big blue one, and we had. An old 96. So now we gotta decide where I want these switches. My dog looks like she's tweaking like 24 seven and it's sad. She's an old girl. So we gotta rip the seats out. We're gonna go inside today probably. Tear them apart, throw these things in. Well, heated seats in this old girl. My 89 Comanche with heated seats. I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness, you have no idea. Let's get going, it's cold AF. Don't you just fucking love it when that happens? So we just got her all buttoned up here. Got our wires coming out on the right side. It's gonna be right next to the seat belts. She's tight back where it should be. Let's go slam it in the Jeep. I think I've got a game plan. I'm gonna put these switches right in front of the four x four shifter. That way I can keep it in the console and I don't have to drill holes into my pristine dashboard. There seems to be quite a bit of padding under here. I had to cut a bunch of insulation out. So it looks like that'll work pretty good down there. Got the console out, the seat is still out. We did finish the seats. So all that's left is to wire it in. Super straightforward. These plug into the uh, heating elements. There's a fuse. Two wires you gotta uh, splice in. 
It's gonna be your positive and ground. Just wire those in, comes with a relay and everything. Just gotta run your switches. I'm gonna tuck the harnesses under the console here. Hide them under the tray. Should be looking pretty clean. These are uh, pretty low profile switches. So I think we can make it work. That's a game plan. Let's drill some holes. The only issue here is I'm not very good at precision. So this could go one of 12 ways. Most of them are terrible. So one good thing about going from the garage to the car a million times, look at that view. Ooh. It's a mean looking Jeep. Fuck that sexy. No, it doesn't look great in here. I'll be honest. That's where we're at. We got the one hole drilled. Just doing the other one now. But now we're just playing arts and crafts, drilling holes, painting the inside of the Jeep with plastic shavings everywhere. Got my switches in. I left a little bit of room so I can still, if I want, throw something there, tuck my wallet in, or add some more switches down the road. But for now, pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm glad I'm uh, doing all this trial and error with a shitty console, because if this was a pristine, properly factory red console, and I was just beating it to shit like this, oh boy, I would be, uh, I'd be a little upset. So until then, until we get a real one, I'd rather keep this one, keep drilling holes in it until I uh, find a combination that works. Then I won't feel bad if I drill holes in a proper one. That's my excuse for this shitty red still. So we got our wiring ran. Got it tucked up in each side as tight as I can. Keeping them nice and clean out of the way of the shifter. So we got everything under the console done. These are the switches in their location. Now this heated seat kit costs about 50 bucks. That's enough to do two seats. Obviously they are not the best quality parts. So these switches, uh, they're such flimsy plastic. They do have a little notch on the sides. And that way when you put them in, if you uh, cut a little groove for that slot, the switch will not turn. That all fit in. Great idea, great concept. It works perfect. The clips and the tabs that actually hold them in, not so great. So I got my wires all tucked up. Everything's looking nice. I'm going to try and put my interior back together a little bit. And then we can wire these bad boys in. We should be good to go. I'm pretty excited. The whole seat's a bit of a pain in the ass in the 97 and up. Not the end of the world. Pre, like 96 and down. This is so easy. Like easiest thing in the world to get these uh, elements in there. Like I said before, honestly, about 40 minutes to pull the seats, rip them completely apart, put the new elements in, throw them back together and throw them back in the car. So I want to make sure that this is the last time I have to play with this wiring. It's all going to get zip tied up. This side's pretty much done. We're going to have it tucked to the sides nice and tight. You won't even know I was here. That's why I'm taking a little bit of pride in my work here. I like clean wiring. It's a soft spot for me. So other than that, this is honestly like a two hour job maybe. If it's your first time, like it's super easy, super quick. And uh, these elements, woo, they're good. I had WJ seats in my blue XJ, so they had a lot more padding. So, I mean, it took a little bit longer for the heat to get through. These thin ones, uh, for, well, actually any XJ seat, they're pretty thin. They don't have a whole lot of padding, so they get warm super fast. Especially with this, I don't even know what you'd call that, that material. Let's it breathe a lot quicker too. It's honestly like perfect. Love it. I have heated seats in my 89 Comanche. Woo! I'm happy. Around the wiring, just out from the back here, see if I can show you. It's not looking great. Just coming out the seat under the console. Nothing too fancy. Obviously, if it's, a, if it's an XJ, I'd run it under the carpeting under the seat. But there's no seating behind me. No one's going to see it, so didn't have to do that. So I'm going to start throwing this together, wire this bad boy up, and uh, psh, that's it. Can't wait. Oh man, I, I cannot explain how much I love heated seats. I got some cleaning up to do. Wearing my finest of linens, working on the Jeep today. Woo! Gotta say, these things work good in my other Jeep. They work even better in this old girl. She toasty. I can't even put into words the amount of comfort I'm in right now. 12 out of 10 would recommend these. 
I'll put a link in the description where I picked them up. About 50 bucks off Amazon. Quick little project today. Very happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching.